Good evening, everybody, or good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to the City of Sioux Falls City Council Minnehaha County Commission Joint Meeting. Today is Tuesday, July 24th, and we're certainly pleased to have everybody here. We'll start today's meeting with a roll call of both our City Council and our Minnehaha County Commission. We'll start with the Sioux Falls City Council. Councilors Aguilar? Here. Anderson? Here. Antiman? Here. Erpenbach? Here. Jameson? Here. Karski? Rolfing? Here. Staggers? Present. <clears throat> we do have uh, seven city councilors here, uh, and I'll turn it over to the Minnehaha County Commission. And we have four out of the five members here. Very good. Thank you. Uh, we'll start. Uh, Benega is missing. Uh, we do have uh, Commissioner Benega that, uh, that is absent for uh, the Minnehaha County Commission. We'll start to, with our Pledge of Allegiance. If I could ask, have everybody stand and recite the pledge. Uh, thank you. We'll now move on to today's uh, regular agenda. Uh, city Council or uh, Commission, uh, any, any motions uh, on today's regular agenda? I'd move to approve from the city side. Second, Aguilar. Uh, Councilor Box made a motion to approve today's uh, joint meeting. It was seconded by Councilor Aguilar. Is there any discussion? Councilor Urbanbach? Mr. Mayor, I would like to move that we amend the regular agenda to add the item um, Siouxland Heritage Museum's Archive Building. Second. Discussion. There has been a motion to amend today's regular agenda, and it was seconded by Councilor Aguilar. Is there any discussion on that? That would be just a discussion item, Mr. Mayor. It wouldn't be something we'd be able to vote on tonight, but it's something we want to start that conversation. Great. Uh, with that in mind, uh, could we have a roll call vote uh, by the Sioux Falls City Council? Councilors Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Intamin? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Staggers? Yes. That has passed 7 to 0. Uh, County Commission? Uh, move approval of the agenda. I have a motion. Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion, the amended agenda is approved. I will have to recuse myself from the first item. And uh, Commissioner uh, Peckus will take care. Okay, very good. Thank you. Just a point of clarification. Do I have to have the city council vote on the amended uh, agenda? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, council, we have a, an amended a main agenda that uh, I'd like you to consider and vote. Uh, if we could have a roll call vote, please. Councilors Aguilar? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Intamin? Yes. Erpenbach? Yes. Jameson? Yes. Rolfing? Yes. Staggers? Yes. Thank you. And that has passed 7 to 0. And uh, the county, has that already passed, or do we have to have them vote as well? <coughs> okay. Very good. Well, then let's move on to item number 1. For reconsideration by the Minnehaha County Commission, second reading, an ordinance of the City of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, amending Appendix C of the Code of Ordinances of said city by rezoning property at 9101 East 10th Street from the RC Recreation Conservation District to the RR Rural Residential District. The Planning Commission rec recommends approval and the City Council approved the ordinance on May 21st, 2012. Pat, welcome. Thank you. Pat Herman from Minnehaha County Planning. Um, and as Denise has said, we are here as a reconsideration of the rezoning item and the vote from May 21st for the City Council will stand. The ordinance does require, though, that, w that you meet jointly as a board, and that's why both of you need to be here tonight. So only the County Commission will be taking a vote tonight on whether to uphold the Planning Commission's recommendation to approve or to deny their recommendation. And I am just, um, since most of us have heard this before, I'm just going to briefly uh, just touch on the main points of this request. Um, this was a request to rezone from RC to rural residential, and it's located at the east of at the end of East 10th Street. This property is in the 2035 future land use plan shown for residential use, and this area is also in the transition zone, which means that this is an area that things that are rural are starting to turn over to urban uses. It's directly adjacent to the city limits, which you can see in the shaded color on the map. Um, there w is a sewer basin plan for this area. It is tied into the fourth or fifth part of Arbor's Edge, and once that's developed, these lots will be put onto city sewer, so that has been planned for. And then there would also be a driveway on the west side um, 
on the line there, section line, and that would be shared with Arbor's Edge called Canella Avenue, and that would have to be constructed to city standards, meaning that it would be paved and it would be shared by both sides of the development. So tonight's request is to rezone this to rural residential from recreation conservation. The applicant is here as well, Chris Rallis, if you have questions for him or for myself. Pat, thank you very much. Uh, this is a second reading, so is there anyone in the audience who wanted to speak to the commission or to the council about this item? With that in mind, I am going to pass it over then to uh, Commissioner uh, John Peckis uh, and, and let you continue. Mr. Uh, Commissioner Peckis. Thank you very much. Uh, so turning it back over to the county commission, is there a motion? Mr. Chair, I would uh, move approval. Second. There's a motion and a second for approval. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Well, thank you very much, uh, Commissioner. We appreciate that. We'll now move on to item number two. Where's Dick? Mr. Mayor. Siouxland Heritage Museum Archive Building Discussion. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Commissioner Barth. Um, we in the county have just been uh, going through our budget uh, going forward, and starting in 2014, we've uh, planned on spending $170,100 a year uh, for this archive facility, which has been an item of discussion for at least five, six years. Um, and I recognize that you don't have uh, money in there at, uh, at this point, but I, I think uh, as it is a joint facility, uh, it will be a joint facility, uh, I think it's time for us to begin <coughs> discussing it again more seriously. And uh, perhaps an ad hoc uh, committee, something like that to uh, discuss this type of project, and perhaps even other uh, building uh, committee projects uh, would be something we should look into. Is there any other discussion on this item? Very good. Uh, well, Commissioner Barth, uh, oh yes, Councilor Hurtenbach. Mr. Mayor, I guess I would add to Commissioner Barth's um, comments that the county has um, has kind of planned out the, what their bond payments would be on this building. We have to keep in mind that this building not only would house um, you know, as I said the other day to Commissioner Barth, I said it's not just, you know, horse and buggy and, and old lace items, things that are in the museums, but it's also the circuit court um, archives. All of our city archives are planned to be in that area as well. It, you know, if we look at our building, the building that we're in now, the Carnegie Town Hall is full of archives that would move into that building. Um, it's a space efficiency item and it's a building preservation item at this point in terms of not only the historic buildings that are the museum itself but the the buildings that we use as a government and so I guess I would agree with with Commissioner Barth and would ask that the group maybe create some kind of working group that would start to make this move forward we have to figure out a way to make this happen um, it doesn't have to be a fancy building it doesn't have to to cost us you know exorbitant amounts of money but it is something that has to be done and we need to move forward with it Commissioner Kelly. Um, I guess the one question we have is, is where the city is in the process. I think you've got some money in there for engineering and architect in what, 14 or 13. I believe that's correct, Commissioner Kelly. Um, we want to track with you if, you know, if, if so that we're on the same uh, program. It will affect our other CIP type projects. And, and so I think that's what we need to know at some point here is where are you in the process and then from there and I don't expect that decision or anything tonight but that uh, we we all stay on the same track and one doesn't get ahead of the other one would you say that uh, Councillor Jameson I just wanted to clarify that the uh, with the county that we have it so far set in our budget for 2017 it's not 2014 um, and it is how much and, and the amount is four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, set in twenty seventeen. You know, if I could just add to this discussion that, you know, I know the city has started a uh, space needs assessment uh, study. You know, and I understand the county is uh, working in an extremely old, outdated building as well. Um, you know, I'm sure there's probably room for collaboration somewhere in some way. And some of our local governments but um, for me I, I just share this with the group so you understand where I'm at I haven't been uh, convinced that we have a problem 
so you need to help educate me somehow that that there's a problem with the space for these items and that we need to build a building and this whole plan so that's just me so if you do start a, a committee or something that's the stuff I'll be looking for give me some reasons and facts Councilor well, Mr. Mayor, I would start with a field trip then, you know, as the queen of field trips, I would take Councillor um, Jameson and whoever else is interested up into the attic in the uh, old courthouse museum and you can see where the issues are that, you know, the county it, it does the maintenance on that particular building, but you can start to see the issues in terms of the weight of the properties that we own, the weight that is actually affecting the, the integrity of the building itself. And then those issues of climate and environment that we have to be aware of if we're going to maintain, you know, the, the county and the city both have documents we have to maintain over the lifetime of our government. You know, in order to do that, they have to be in, in environmentally secure places and we don't have that for them now. And so those would be the things that we would certainly look at. I would absolutely, that's one of the first things I did as I came on as a, as a council member was to tour those facilities and they are, full of a lot of really important stuff that is endangered at this point because of the, the lack of this building. The other thing I would say, Mr. Mayor, if I could, is that that the um, the uh, that Bob and Kari Hall, who have uh, strong interest in the history of Minnehaha County and the city of Sioux Falls, have contributed the land that is um, meant for this building. And so a big chunk of the cost of this building is already covered in that donation, a very generous donation of the land for that. And so that's a piece of it as well, is that it's, the public has also said to us, this is something we need to move on. We've been given this gift. We did, do need to make it, make it happen in a, in a prudent way. Councilor Anderson, Jr. I'm uh, just gonna make a suggestion to maybe resolve Councilman Jamison or any other uh, concerns about this facility. It's something I've heard about since I was first elected and it's something that the city has uh, stated that we wanted to be a part of. I do believe some of the grading also has been done up there with the uh, Sanford complex. Uh, maybe this would be a good time to place this in something like land use so that we could have public meetings and discuss over the, the intent of the city as far as cooperating with the county and the amount that we're going to look at uh, adding to this facility. Uh, Commissioner Kelly. Um, since this is a joint project, I, you, you'd mentioned a study group and I'd be more than happy to appoint a couple of council mem or commission members plus probably uh, at least one or two county employees to a group that, that you would have similar um, representation on um, then we uh, it's not just a city project and I think I think we all need to be included in this thing to make it go if if you're looking at 2017 before you've got architectural and stuff um, you know we're gonna have to revise our plans but I do think a study group now would be important perhaps maybe we'd move it back to 2016 or 2015 depending on what this group comes up with but uh, I'd, I'd welcome that deal if I can find two members who are willing to serve. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Councilor Rittenbach. Um, uh, Councilor Anton and I were just um, kind of side conversation talking about um, one of the first things that we probably need to do. I know, that, I think that it had been done previously, but it's just a basic needs assessment. Let's talk about what this building should be like. And I think that that work group could start with that, um, working with um, county staff, museum staff, and kind of move forward with that. Um, if there are, uh, with your permission, I guess I would, are we going to, uh, are there a couple of volunteers from council that might want to jump into this and, and we can kind of move forward from there? Or maybe it's an item you want to talk in a working session with the city council and, and then uh, come back at a future uh, mm -hmm. commission joint meeting just to talk about the progress that you've made and, and maybe the commission, maybe you can do the same thing in a, in a work study or a work session just to talk about it. And at the same time, uh, the uh, the city um, the city team maybe we can come up with some ideas as well in terms of uh, with Tracy Turback and maybe some uh, some direction there. But uh, uh, any further discussion? Yes, Commissioner Kelly. I didn't hear all of what Michelle had said, but um, I think the groups need to work together, not separately. I, I think that's important because I, I think if we're each going this way and then try and get together, we're probably going to end up with some ideas that don't fit in there. 
Mr. Mayor, if I might, I absolutely agree, Commissioner Kelly. I think that that we're at a point where we're just first getting our fingers into this. That we would have you some. And I can work uh, together on while we're going to set that up. If absolutely, I would be glad to do that. I have a yes, uh, Councilor Aguilar. Is in the past has there been some sort of decision that came from a previous council as far as the involvement of the city in the project? I guess that. If anyone has any historical information um, that would assist. Councilor Jamison, Councilor Staggers, Councilor Anderson Jr., any background in terms of the city's involvement? I think what uh, Councilor Aguilar is asking is what is our contractual obligation? Well, I, I, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a contract, but along that line, what kind of commitment? did the city make because this council that's presently sitting hasn't taken any action um, other than you know we approve a five-year CIP but we're actually only approving one year so I was just wondering if I could get some background Bill would you mind just uh, and then Councilor Bach I'll certainly go to you but uh, Bill would you mind just giving us a little history here um, Bill Hoskins, director of the Siouxland Heritage Museums, and I wasn't quite ready for a formal presentation, but to try answer your question, I think it goes back partly to the Siouxland Heritage Museums were formed in 1974 through a joint cooperative agreement between the city and the county. We operate the Pettigrew, the old courthouse. The collection, the artifacts, are uh, things that belong to the city and the county. Um, most of those, because of the size of our physical buildings, are stored at the old courthouse museum. Um, <clears throat> this project really came about or started in about 2005 when a structural engineer uh, did a survey of the old courthouse museum and basically told us we, he found a few structural problems uh, that have been addressed by uh, the county commission and have been fixed but he really recommended that nothing be stored uh, in the some of the upper level rooms of the old courthouse it, it wasn't built as a warehouse um, and and from that perspective the museum really began doing some research on other alternatives to storing things there um, I don't remember the exact year, but in about 2004 or five, about the same time period, the city and county appointed a joint uh, task force that included staff members from both city and county who met quite a bit. I believe Diane Metley, the former city clerk, was the chair of that committee. Uh, they looked at um, needs for city and county records and did a report to the joint city and county uh, sometime later. Uh, I've got copies of that material in my office. Uh, if any of you want copies, I can certainly provide them. Um, um, Bob and Kari Hall. Uh, Kari Hall has been a volunteer at the museum for over 20 years. Uh, she, she donates about 16 hours a week to the museums. Uh, she recognized the need. She and her husband were in a position to donate 25 acres uh, located adjoining the Sanford development. Um, that happened in December of 2000, I want to say eight. And um, um, the provision there is of that 25, approximately 20 can be sold, the proceeds of which to go towards the construction of some storage facility, five to be retained, at least five to be retained for the site of the building. I, I, I'm, <clears throat> I, I, my ears are a little mixed up here, but I, 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 I think it was, was it in 2010? I think that uh, Council Member Staggers uh, offered an amendment to put some money in the CIP for this project. I was pretty sure it was 2014, but it was voted on eight, eight nothing 
by the council. That, that's sort of the background vis-a-vis -vis why we're talking jointly. Um, uh, <clears throat> I, I wasn't aware that it had been moved later, um, and that's some of the basis for uh, where the county's been planning to. Uh, yes, I'll turn it over to you. I just wanted to follow up. We do have copies of those minutes from those meetings if you want to see them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Urbanbach. I was just going to reiterate what Bill said. Uh, that, that joint powers agreement that created the museums gave us the responsibility to maintain the museums to jointly. Um, and items that the city owns is are part of the problem that, I mean, they're part of the issue that has to be in storage. And so I think, you know, we're committed to that by that joint powers agreement. I think we have to, to figure out how we're going to make that move forward. But um, we need, probably need to look back historically and just make sure that all of us that are currently sitting on the council need to understand where we're at in this process. Thank you. Commissioner uh, Pecos. Oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Kelly. Oh. Um, Bill, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this really goes back to 1996 or somewhere in that area when Diane Metley, when she was city clerk, recognized the need for storage of documents. And at that time, I, I remember we as a city council did discuss the issue and, and it, it really got legs when the donation was made or, or when your architect went through and discovered that. But this has been talked about for, what, uh, 15, 16 years, and uh, I think originally it was very strong on the city side uh, for the storage of the documents, because I think she was very concerned as to where, we were, where you were storing documents and what the condition of them was. Then uh, the county had the same issue, so. I'm not sure it was quite that far back, but it, uh, I, I'm losing track of time. I, th I think oh when my. the museum started looking at, we needed a place, um, we also started looking at their, the perceived need to have some place to store government records. And uh, the government records, the museums, archives, library, our artifacts, all have similar requirements for uh, environment, uh, for security, and, and that's why we kind of group them together. Yes, Commissioner Barth. Mr. Mayor, I, I think we've had a reasonable discussion here, and I Thank think you. that uh, it's been, you know, we know we're going to go forward at some point, and I, I would um, suggest we move on. I, my wishes certainly have been... Uh, good job, and thanks for bringing it to our attention today, Commissioner Barth, and there has been a good discussion, and I think that uh, with council leadership and commission leadership, uh, we'll find a way to, to continue to, this dialogue. Um, with that in mind, is there any other topics that uh, this joint meeting would like to uh, address? Would there be a motion to adjourn? Second, Second Aguilar. Councilor Anderson Jr. has made that motion on the city's behalf and it was seconded by Councilor Aguilar. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion in the county. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to second. Is there any, um, aye. all in favor say aye. 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 Pull the same sign, motion carried. Uh, very good. Uh, well, thank you so much for your stewardship, uh, County Commission and City Council. Uh, this meeting is adjourned. Make it a great evening. <laughs>